Okay, guys, doing a free find from five below first. All of these little glasses, guys, they are little spooky holographic glasses. And here are a couple of pair of uh, ghosts and vampires. And here are some zombie glasses. So uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten pair of those. Some cute little kitty ink pens. Some light up, some don't. Some have little goblins, bats jack-o'-lanterns and ghost and there's one with a little black cat and another little jack-o'-lantern here's a little black and orange tree that lights up it does work this is from home goods over here guys these are jack-o'-lanterns uh, talking jack-o'-lanterns simple to use it has a motion detector on it and yeah there are four of those, one, two, three, four, and they all work. Trust me. <laughs> uh, here's some little body jewel. These are cute. Little stars, I guess you can use for um, almost like little body tattoos. And guys, here are about, I think I have 30 of these, of these little Dracula capes. Yeah, I'm going to try to incorporate this for a craft at my daughter's school. I'm in charge of crafts, and I hate to throw these away. And I don't think they will be good sellers. I'm going to take them to the flea market also, but we may be able to decorate um, Dracula capes or something. I'll think of something. I'll let you know if I use those. But I have 30 of those. Down here is a Superman accessory kit. It has the mask, the chest piece with cape, belt, light up kryptonite. The little kryptonite doesn't work anymore. At least I can't make it work, but yeah, there is Clark Kent. Okay, still with the Halloween theme. Here are some uh, pillowcase treat snacks. I'm sorry, pillowcase treat sacks from Five Below. Here's a little bustier or a corset that came from Party City by itself in red. There's a little sexy ladybug costume. Um, with the little wings and there's another mannequin guys I picked that up from I can't even remember where and this storage unit you know guys I'm just saving these even if they don't have a top this came from Bed Bath & Beyond I use these for my flea market so I've just been grabbing these when I can I can store stuff in those down here here's a pillow from Marshalls Home Goods this pillow retail for $16.99, guys. I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, these little utility spinners. Um, I guess you put these on your vanity and they spin. It did get hit with some spray paint, but I know how to get them off. I might use these for my crafts if I ever get like a craft room. Or I might just sit them on the, um, you know, for my flea market. But they spin. I don't know why they got rid of those. Uh, but I could see me, you know, storing something in that. But if you were into makeup and things like that, that would be really cute. Okay. Here are two big, beautiful quilts. They both have that whole coastal feel to it. This one is actually by Coastal Life. It's a uh, Madeira. Is the... Uh, you know, make of it, and this is in a king size. And guys, the price on this was one forty nine ninety nine, and it's only for the quilt. Uh, I'm not digging that for my room. I don't really have the shell things acting. Uh, I might just try to stick it out and get rid of. But if not, I may save this for save this for a beach blanket because it has all the shells on it and beautiful color. We go to the beach a lot, so that may be a cool, nice, big, thick beach blanket for me. And the same thing holds true with this one. This one has shells and whole beach theme. But this one is in a twin twin set. And actually it's only the comforter. Uh, luxury oversized cotton field pre-wash. It's just the quilt only. There are no shams or anything with this. Guys, and this price was $129.99. Very expensive. Um, yeah. I think I can use those. I might take them to the flea market, and I might not. Here's just a little 
um, like a lunch kit. But I think I'm going to use this for storage in my crafts. It has different little compartments. This compartment is cracked. That's probably why they got rid of it. But I think I can use these for something in my craft. Or I may take it to the flea market. Somebody may buy it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, as fate with habit, it never fails. I always find more stuff when I finish a video. I don't feel like reshooting, so I'm going to show you these few items. I have four other items. Actually, five. Uh, this scarf hanger, which came uh, from Bed Bath & Beyond. These two little uh, tchotchkes that I will use for my crafting projects. A cute little gold aisle. And these, um, this little kitten. It used to be a compact, but I can find use for that. She has on these little cat eye rim glasses. She's too cute to throw away. So we'll be keeping those. And these two uh, pan guys, um, the vendor name, I can't pronounce it. It looks European. Yeah, I'll be keeping those probably to sell and see if I can get rid of them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. A couple of things I forgot to show you guys in my finds for today. These containers came from Dollar Tree. This white rain came from Dollar Tree. Um, this Neutrogena shampoo came from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is a Dollar Tree all-purpose cleaner. All of these aluminum pans came from Dollar Tree, guys. Uh, I think I have like 50 or so. And these Orbitz unused, unopened gum also came from Dollar Tree. I'm not really a big gum chewer, especially for some reason, sugar-free gum makes my stomach cramp. So I'll probably send these to work with my husband. He'll stick them on the you know, stick them in the break room. Somebody will grab them. But yeah, that's a lot of aluminum pans. And I see why they got rid of them. Some of them a little bit bent, but hey, Frugal Nista will be using them. I mean, that's just, it's just bent right there. No biggie, right? Alrighty. Hi guys, just guys. came in for a free find. Let's see if this works. It is a beautiful lamp. It does work. All I did was put a bulb in it. It is by Stephen Blake Interiors. Dot com. It's listed at fifty dollars, forty nine ninety nine. Beautiful lamp. Here is some hand soap by Savon, and the fragrance is lime blossom. It's a whole container. The top part of the spout has been broken. I do have a spout to fix that. I mean, to fit this one. We'll just interchange the spout. $7.99. Eight bucks. Here's a cute little picture frame. Wooden by Lane Furniture. Made in India. Price on that. I'm not even sure what this is, but I like the look of it. This is $19.99. I think it's something that you can put a candle in. I just like the whole rope nautical feel to it. Um, I can find some use of that. I may try to put that in my office at some point. I'm just feeling the feel of it. I like that. Uh, but it does look like it's a base for a candle. Like you can hold a big candle with it maybe. Uh, here's some clothes from different places that were just disposed of. Here's a Roxy jumper. A little black top in medium. Or is that small? Small. The vendor is McLaughlin. Some cute little gap shorts in a size 29. I don't really um, know this vendor either, but it is RVCA, 
weeks in a 27. Um, these are actually new. I think, I don't know if this is a vendor. I picked these up out of Old Navy. So maybe that's Old Navy's brand. And here are a pair of Hurley jeans. H-U-R-L-E-Y. Not sure of that vendor also. But yeah, guys, that's about well over $100 worth of merchandise for free. Let's make sure. Yeah, this is eight, eight, twenty. So that's twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. So about ninety bucks worth of brand new merchandise. A little over ninety. Not bad for a couple of minutes worth of work.